The nation's former top diplomat has left Washington and is now back in the Bay Area. Former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice has returned to Stanford University, where she's worked off and on for nearly three decades. She sat down this week with ABC 7's Carolyn Tyler for a story you'll see only on 7. She has visited 85 countries and traveled more than one million miles as Secretary of State. Now Condoleezza Rice is back at Stanford University, where she started as a professor 28 years ago. I'm very happy to get up in the morning, read the newspaper, and not think I have to do anything about what's in it. But she's still making news here at the university. Some campus activists are protesting Rice's return to Stanford, accusing her of, quote, warmongering as Secretary of State. When people say to me, oh, there's controversy, I say, oh, that's a headline, controversy in a university? Of course. Rice was provost at the university from 1993 to 99. Now she's a senior fellow at the Hoover Institution and will teach political science. She's also signed a deal to write a book on U.S. foreign policy, covering her years at the top echelon of government. Don't expect to read about a change of heart on the invasion of Iraq and overthrow of Saddam Hussein, even though the reasons for going to war were faulty. I fully, uh, completely thought that he had weapons of mass destruction. I still think that overthrowing Saddam Hussein will ultimately make for a better Middle East. The cost was very, very high, and it was much more difficult than I ever thought it would be. But I would, I would still do it. Critics say the war has tarnished America's reputation abroad, and the Obama administration appears to be moving quickly to reshape foreign policy. Is that a rebuke or a repudiation uh, of you and uh, well, the Bush I, you know, administration? I, I, look, I, I'm not going to uh, try to critique uh, the Obama administration's foreign policy. We had our chance. They now get their chance. But she does have a point of view, including thoughts on President Obama's proposal to start talking to moderate elements of the Taliban. If those elements are there, then I really see no problem with, with doing so. You have to be careful. Because uh, there are, one can't do it from a position of weakness. Rice says she's given Hillary Clinton advice about the job. They're part of a select club. Three of the last four secretaries of state have been women. So it reminds the world that uh, America is really coming to, to be what it says it is, a place of equal opportunity. It wasn't that way when the 54-year-old was growing up in segregated Birmingham, Alabama. She plans to write a book honoring her late parents. I've been asked many times, how did you become what you are? Well, parents are a large part of that. Some of your experiences seem so similar to other African Americans, yet there does seem to be a disconnect between you and the black community. Well, I don't think so, Carolyn. I, I, this was one I don't understand because I have been treated so well by, the, by black people everywhere that I go. But there's no denying many blacks were outraged by the Bush administration's response to Hurricane Katrina and angry at Condoleezza Rice. She regrets how that tragedy was handled. I went on vacation thinking, I'm Secretary of State, this is a domestic crisis. I suddenly realized that as one of the country's uh, uh, leaders and as the, the highest ranking African American that yeah, Katrina was in some ways uh, something that I needed to feel more responsible for. She is committed to promoting quality education for all Americans. Rice co-founded this after school program, Center for a New Generation, the last time she lived in the Bay Area and will now become involved again. She's also looking forward to more music, golf, and she's a football fanatic. No, she's not angling for NFL commitment Commissioner. No, she has no plans to run for political office. She remains in close touch with former President George W. Bush. History will make the ultimate judgment. At the Hoover Institution at Stanford, Carolyn Tyler, ABC 7 News. By the way, Rice will be the keynote speaker tomorrow at an invitation-only economic summit at Stanford. Interesting conversation. Mm -hmm.